We live by faith in God today. <clears throat> a lot of people are looking to a lot of things. And sometimes people are looking for something to put their confidence in. But I believe that we can honestly and truthfully say, you know, the Bible says here that in verse number 1 of chapter 11 that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That word evidence there literally means the proof. That's our, we, faith is our proof. You know, some people, they, they have to see things to believe it. You know, um, uh, they, would, they need a telescope to see some of the things that are out in the, in the night sky to really understand it. They need a microscope. People look, looking deep into uh, DNA and de deep into uh, the cell structure, and they find things, and they see it, and, 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 and they, wow, I didn't know that was there. And now I believe so much more about how life is. And I believe about the universe. And sometimes people don't understand until they can actually see it for themselves. And that's what I'm trying to say today is that faith to us is our telescope. It's our microscope. Faith to us is our x-ray machine. Faith to us is like, you know, uh, it's what opens up our eyes. And we realize that God is real. Amen. And that God is true. And he's the living proof that he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. We know what God can do, and faith is our proof. Amen? Look at about, we shared verse 35. It said, um, or maybe we didn't. Let me read verse 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense and reward. In other words, it's a, there's a great payday for having confidence in God. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. You know, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it said, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And that word substance right there in the Greek, really, it's, it's one Greek word that's translated substance of things hoped for. So the word hope and substance are all part of this one Greek word that, that literally means confidence. Faith is where our confidence is. It's not just that's our evidence, our proof, but it's also our confidence. It's, uh, you know, there's a, a lot of people that need to do a lot of things to have confidence enough to make it through another day. And I don't mean it wrong. I'm not trying to criticize people that, that have anxieties or, or worries or, or uncertainties. I know that we all need assurance. We all need security. I know that it's great to know that you got a job and you're going to have a paycheck coming in. But, I mean, we've been living in a world where that's hard to be certain of. I, it's great to know that you've got a place to live. And, man, we went through a decade, uh, you know, from 2007 through the, uh, you know, the last few years back in those days when a lot of people lost their homes and, and there was a lot of uncertainty. I ministered to people and uh, I worked with people. When, we, when I pastored in Atlanta for 20 years and was working in the, in the city down there, some of the things that was so uncertain, I, I've seen families that lived There'll be a mom and a dad and three, four children sometimes living in a, in a, in a motel room and just a, about a couple of beds and, and a bathroom and a, and a dresser, and they put a, a hot plate or a microwave in there, and they lived in that room, but they paid every day, day by day, and children would get off the school bus. The school bus would literally drop them off at these motels, and they'd get off the school bus, and they never knew until they got off the bus if dad had the money to pay for another day. Now, that's uncertainty, my friends. You say, well, how do you make it like that? Well, I'll tell you what. I've watched some of these young people come to faith in Christ. I've watched some of the parents come to faith in Christ and just be able to trust God from day to day. And, you know, that's not something that the world doesn't know about because all over the world there's a lot of people that they don't know from day to day what's going to happen in their life. They don't have the assurance of, you know, we talk about such a bad legal system, but we live in one of the most just and peaceful nations in all the world. You know, you don't go anywhere in the world without seeing people with bars and gates and barbed wire and glass shards and everything they can to keep people out of their homes. And they live in uncertainty, and they don't have anything to defend themselves. They don't have any weapons. They don't have anything but just, uh, uh, you know, they just live from day to day. And if God doesn't provide and God doesn't protect, then they, they don't have any. If they don't know God, they have little to no assurance of anything. But I'll tell you what, at the end of the day, we all have to realize that our confidence is in God. We don't need to worry when we know that God is in control. 
faith is like my telescope, my microscope. It's like my evidence of who God is and what he can do. He's the proof that I need. He's the confidence that I have. But not only that, faith is our life. He's our life. Faith is why we have joy, why we have peace. You know, he said not to cast our confidence, but to have confidence in God. Um, and we to hold fast our faith. You know, because that's how we live. I don't know about you, but when everything's falling apart, just knowing that God's in control keeps me at peace. Knowing the world's all upside down, just knowing that God's still on his throne keeps me at peace. You know, when everybody else is upset, just knowing that I'm right with God gives me joy. I may not always be perfectly right with God as far as doing everything I should do and not doing what I shouldn't do, but I know that there is no more enmity between God and I. I know that that, that sin has been taken away, and that I, I have unity with God through my Savior, Jesus Christ, and to know that there's nothing that I can do to make him love me any more or make him love me any less. There's nothing I can do to make myself more saved or less saved. <laughs> that Listen, it's not what I've been doing. It's what Jesus did. And when I put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ, that, uh, that it became my life. It's our life. It's how we live, that we walk by faith and not by sight. And, and it's, the, it's the joy that we have. Some people go through life, and they're worried about so much. They're stressed about so much. They're anxious about so much. They feel like they need to bring control to their life and order to their life. And I'm not against uh, trying to do what we can to, to bring stability in our homes and our lives. But at the end of the day, it's our God that we have confidence in. And faith is our life. It's our joy. It's our peace. It's our happiness. I'm not happy because of what I have. I'm happy because of my God. I'm not happy because what I've accomplished. I'm happy because of my relationship with my God. Because everything we've got can be taken away except our salvation. Nobody can take away eternal life. Nobody can take away what I have with Jesus. Nobody, listen, if all we, you know, we, we can lose our retirements, we can lose our home, we can lose our job, we can lose our wealth, we can lose our health, we can lose anything in this world, but we can't lose God. And our happiness is built around him. Our joy is built in him. Our patience comes from the fact that we know that God is going to work things out one way or the other. We don't have to be in control. We don't have to make it all work out. We don't have to tell everybody how we think they ought to do it. Just let God be God. He's our life. The last thing I want you to see is faith is not only our proof, it's our confidence, it's our life. But, but watch this. Faith is our potential. Faith is your potential. Because you see, if you have faith in yourself, then you have limited faith because you're limited. If you have faith in your money, faith in your government, Faith in your company, faith in anything else, it's all limited. Amen? But when you have faith in God, it's limitless. There's nothing our God can't do. There's nothing our God can't do. Now, except overcome our unbelief. Jesus said, I couldn't do any great thing because of unbelief. Jesus, but he simply said this, look. In Mark chapter 9, verse 23, he said, Jesus said unto them, if thou canst believe, I'm just quoting him verbatim, okay? You take it as far as you can believe it. He said, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. How about that? That's a pretty limitless statement. So faith is our potential, my friends. Are you ready to walk by faith? Are you ready to believe that God is a limitless God? And that your potential is only limited by your faith in what God will do in your life? Don't get me wrong. I'm not a name and claim it kind of preacher. I'm not just saying you can ask God for everything. He'll give it all to you. I'm not a prosperity preacher. Like I said last, I believe it was last Wednesday night, God is more concerned we're more concerned about what God's doing for us. God's more concerned about what he's doing in us. And so I know that God is doing a greater work in me 
than what he would ever do for me, which, I mean, you know, what I'm asking him for. So I understand that. But I think it's a time for us just to get back to who we are and walk by faith. I'm not talking about not being afraid of the virus. I'm not talking about trying to put you under pressure to, you know, just to cast your mask aside and forget the vaccines and just go back to normal living. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in your personal life, number one, the Bible said faith is the evidence of things not seen. Can you say, God, I'm just going to know that you're, you have proven yourself to me and I'm not going to doubt you. I'm not going to doubt you. Amen. Amen. Number two, God is my, 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 not only my proof, but he's my confidence. God, you're on the throne, and I know that you're in control. I'm not going to worry about our government. But at the end of the day, <laughs> there's only one I know I can count on, and my confidence is going to be in God. Can you say, I'm going to have confidence in God? God's my proof. He's my confidence. I know he hears me. I know he helps me. I know ultimately heaven's my home, and they can't steal that away from me. And if they were to come in my house and take my Bible and and threaten me and shoot me, hey, they can't take heaven away from me. And I'm not going to live day by day in fear of my government and fear of people invading my home. I'm just going to live by faith in my God because I know whom I have believed in, and I'm persuaded he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. And I believe as we sing today that he's coming back. And I believe that God, listen, my faith in God is my joy, it's my peace, it's my happiness, it's what we're about. And I know that I serve a limitless God, and I'm just going to walk by faith and know that if God wants to do things in our life, if God wants to expand our ministry, if God wants to give us greater opportunities, if God's got something that he wants to do, I'm just glad that he'll do it. If God, if I'm worried about my kids, I'll just trust God with them. If I think God, listen, just don't unlimit yourself. Don't, I'm saying don't limit yourself by your lack of faith. Unlimit yourself by faith in God. Are you ready to walk by faith?